Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're all doing fine. Today we have a big catalyst that will most likely pump up the Bitcoin price or also dump it. Today we have a big FOMC meeting. So the Fed meeting is going on today, my friends. And that's why I think that this will be the next uh, catalyst that will uh, lead then into a huge pump or dump for the Bitcoin price. But it doesn't matter what is coming out. I will buy more Bitcoin today because today is also my birthday. And in every year I am buying more Bitcoin during the month of September, especially during my birthday because the 21st of September very often is a turnaround and it's always a good buy opportunity. It doesn't matter when you're buying Bitcoin or any kind of asset in September over time you will be sitting in huge profits. So even though we could go to way lower levels today I am going to buy more Bitcoin and I am waiting for the FOMC uh, event to happen and then see what is going on because we in, we're gonna analyze in this video what are my potential targets and even if today I'm buying Bitcoin that doesn't mean that I'm going all in I'm just starting to DCA I would only go all in if somehow the news would be positive because then I think over time we will go to way higher levels but if the news are going to be negative I most likely gonna start today to DCA uh, into Bitcoin because if we have bad news then of course um, this will lead into way lower levels and uh, we are by far uh, not there where I'm expecting that the price will go uh, if we're getting uh, bad news today. But we are going to analyze in this video what are my targets for the bullish scenario, also for the bearish uh, scenario. And of course, we're going to have a look as usual also into Ethereum, the US dollar index and Nasdaq and what they are telling us uh, uh, what is important in regards to the Bitcoin price. So if you want to trade Bitcoin and all coins, do it right now over on Bybit because uh, currently there is not only this $4,400 uh, bonus if you sign up with my link and then of course also put a deposit. No, if you're gonna put in your derivatives account over on Bybit $1,000, you will get an airdrop in Ethereum worth $1,000, but only if you sign up with my link. So right now, even if you have already the Bybit account you can open up a new account and over there just deposit some money for example $1,000 because then you can get those 4,400 uh, trading uh, bonus and of course also the airdrop in Ethereum so definitely use this promotion that is exclusive with my link and of course next to that you will profit from 0% fees on spot trading so sign up to buy bit right now with the link in the video description and fulfill all the requirements because then you can get a lot of bonuses there so definitely trade over on Bybit because this is the number one trading exchange and this is also the place where I am uh, trading Bitcoin and of course also Ethereum and most of the altcoins since there we have a lot of altcoins listed so because of this big event today, I think that the lower time frames here doesn't tell us too much. But I just want to mention that here in the four hour time frame, as expected yesterday, my friends, we got rejected from this trend line here at $19,500. If we don't see four hour closes, maybe after the F uh, OMC meeting, then uh, if we don't see four hour closes above $19,500, then I think it's very likely that the bearish scenario is going to play out because here we're getting rejected and also we have negative money flow. So everything is looking bearish here in the immediate short term. But if we see four hour closes above $19,500, that could be a signal that we are going to see the bullish scenario playing out. And as long as we have four hour closes in the immediate short term below $19,500, it's very, very likely that we are going to see uh, the bearish scenario playing out and this is what currently I'm afraid that I think it's more likely to happen because if uh, today we're getting negative news if we zoom out here in in the daily time frame you can see that we had this uh, clear falling broadening wedge in theory a bullish pattern but the trading range is between the support currently at 12k as you can see here and the resistance at the 200 daily moving average currently at around $30,000. So this rising wedge that we formed here broke out to the downside. We tested it as a resistance and right now we are falling and we are even most likely creating uh, lower lows compared to this one over here. We are right at this level. 
And if today we're getting negative news, I think that this could lead into a huge waterfall even down towards 12K. I'm expecting some support here at $16,500, but uh, not uh, for the long term. If we're gonna fall down towards $16,500, there maybe we're getting a bounce to retest 19K and then continue to drop lower because um, I think that the biggest support is coming down here at 12k if we're gonna see uh, bearish news today and of course also if the price is going to react because of today's meeting so later on today i think that this will give us uh, the next uh, potential uh, target area to the downside 12k over time not immediately but most likely for the next coming days and weeks but if we're getting somehow positive news then it's very very likely that here we will get a nice run up towards the neckline at around $22,400 and to retest again this new resistance and then maybe even break out higher because the breakout target would be up here at the resistance of this uh, falling broadening wedge right at the 200 daily moving average at around $30,000 for Bitcoin. So for the bullish scenario, if we're getting good news, I'm going all in into Bitcoin because the target would be up here at around 30K and then we're gonna analyze everything again. If here we're getting rejected and roll over and crash lower or if we're able to break out higher because uh, this is still a bullish pattern. This is a bigger falling broadening wedge that we're forming and the potential breakout to the upside could even lead into new all-time highs. But this is something completely else that we have to analyze only if we're getting positive news and only if we get that run up towards 30k. Until then, we are still here in this critical point where we have to decide down or up. And currently, I think it's more likelier the bearish scenario to play out, but no one knows the future. No one knows what is going to happen today. That's why be prepared for both scenarios. I put it a lot of fiat right now over into Bybit and also other exchanges where I'm buying directly with fresh fiat Bitcoin because uh, I think that for the next coming days if we're getting negative news we could get here very very good to buy opportunities especially since over on Bybit we have 0% fees on all spot pairs right now and that's why I will definitely start to DCA into Bitcoin the lower we go if we're getting negative news especially down here at around $16,500 and 12k. We can also switch over into the weekly time frame. Here you can see that we're still very oversold. In theory, um, the, the indicators are still bearish, but I still expect that sooner or later we will get a huge bounce because of, of these uh, uh, bigger time frames. Since for quite some time we are in very extreme uh, oversold condition. We never had really a huge rally here during this bear market. And you can see that also the RSI was always declining here. So as soon as here we are going to break out higher from the RSI because um, there isn't much room left to the downside here. Sooner or later we have to break this uh, resistance trend line. And once we are breaking above the, uh, this uh, resistance here at around 36 here in the RSI, then I think this will lead into a huge rally. So the weekly time frame, even though we are trading below the 200 weekly moving average and right at the bottom of the Keltner channels, um, and of course we could have maybe a huge week to the downside down towards 12k i think that the potential bottom is in or already uh, or close and that would mean that buying everything here at around nineteen thousand five hundred dollars down to 12k is a very good buy opportunity for the long term you maybe will not catch the bottom but at least you can dca and have a good entry uh, average price uh, if we're gonna see somehow today um, some bad news and a huge uh, catalyst to the downside because uh, uh, we are just going sideways and Bitcoin had a lot of chances right now to break way, way lower. And so far we are holding this uh, 20K area as a support and even we still have the chance here to create a potential double bottom uh, formation. So that's why we had many chance chances here to break down, but Bitcoin so far is holding the line. Let's wait and see what will happen. I think that if you're ready for 12K to buy more there, um, you should be doing great over time. Uh, and that the other hand make sure to accumulate enough Bitcoin or th that you have already accumulated enough Bitcoin because once we're starting to pump and we're starting here uh, to rally uh, we most likely gonna see very very soon a 30k for Bitcoin and then of course we're gonna have to decide if here we're getting a nice bull run or not because as long as we are in this falling broadening wedge this is the trading zone 
And if we switch over into the Ethereum price action, you can see that currently we are getting supported at the 200 weekly moving average, which in theory is bullish. A weekly close below, of course, would be bearish. Then I'm targeting here the bottom of the Keltner channels at $1,000 and over time most likely also go way, way lower because uh, here the support trend line of this falling broadening wedge is coming down at $500 for Ethereum and that could be a price target if Bitcoin would reach 12 K. So watch out for that if you want to buy more Ethereum because currently we are also seeing a breakout to the downside from the support trend line. So we came up to test it, but if today we're not getting uh, positive news, so if Bitcoin today, for example, is starting to tank and also the stock market, be sure uh, be assured that also Ethereum will fall. No chance that Ethereum can hold the line and is starting to pump here when everything is going down. But um, since everyone is so bearish right now, I think that we have a very great buy opportunity right now and everyone is expecting the worst today. That's why if we see somehow good news or the price starting to pump over in the stock market, for example, Nasdaq or Ethereum or Bitcoin, I think that that this could be a very great buy opportunity, my friends. And, and most likely that could also mean that the bottom is really in and we maybe have the last chance to buy cheap Ethereum and of course also cheap Bitcoin. Because once Bitcoin is bottoming out, every other altcoin is uh, or every altcoin Better we say like that, every altcoin, because Bitcoin is not an altcoin. Bitcoin is something for itself, and next to that we have altcoins. So altcoins also will bottom out. All of them will bottom out if Bitcoin starts to rally and if the bottom is in for Bitcoin. Everything is depending what Bitcoin is doing. And here over in the US dollar index, you can see that we are very, very close to my price target at around $111. Since we broke this $103 resistance here, I told you the Fibonacci extension level based from the last top and bottom would be up here, the 1.618 at $111. And this is a realistic target for now. And I think that here we most likely are getting some problems to push higher. If we are able to push higher, then of course we would go to way, way higher levels and that could be a huge disastrous move for the crypto and stock market. But if here we're topping out where I was expecting that since we broke out here above this resistance, then we could start here for the next coming weeks a corrective phase to come down and test important support levels for the US dollar index because we have several bearish divergences in the weekly time frame. We have several lower highs in the RSI but in the price action we have higher highs and also in the monthly time frame we are extremely over uh, bought this looks like an altcoin in 2017 and that's why I think that once here we're starting a corrective phase we can drop quite hard here in the US dollar index since we are about to get also a sell signal in the monthly time frame this will take several months to play out of course but uh, if the top is in very soon, then I think that uh, this could fire up a lot, the, a lot the crypto and stock market. Doesn't matter how bearish the news are or how bearish the current situation uh, is, because um, if the charts are telling us that we are going to pump, then most likely it's going to be like that. Doesn't matter what the people are saying, doesn't matter what the news are saying. That's why we never cover news here. We watch only into the charts because the charts are telling the truth. And if today we are starting to dump in the US dollar index or if we're gonna start to dump once we are reaching $111 uh, up here, because it's also possible that at the beginning we're gonna see a huge pump and afterwards a dump in the US dollar index. That could mean a re uh, the opposite also for the crypto and stock market. That maybe today we're getting a trap or something like that, a huge dump and then immediately recover. Let's see what will happen. Anyway, be prepared to buy because in, 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 in both scenarios you are getting good buy opportunities. It doesn't matter if you're gonna see the bullish scenario because if you buy today, over time, you will be sitting in nice profits even though we're just pumping up to 30K and then we're gonna see what will happen. But if we're starting to dump this also will give you great buy opportunities. Just DCA down towards 12K on the way to the downside, then you will have a good, a good average uh, entry uh, because we all know that over time Bitcoin will have way more value, especially in this uh, uh, huge inflation area that we're living right now. That's why make sure to save your purchasing power accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible. This is of course no financial advice. This is just what I am doing, but this is uh, just something that I'm telling you, especially today is my birthday and that's why I want to give you uh, this present to you uh, to accumulate more Bitcoin. This is 
not a financial advice this is just what i'm doing and i'm buying every september especially on my birthday i'm buying doesn't matter the price doesn't matter how bad the situation is because if the charts are telling us that the bottom is in or close i think this is a great buy opportunity and you don't have to freak out once everything is starting to skyrocket again maybe next week maybe next month maybe next year who cares we have time so right now is a great buy opportunity and uh, i would take the chance before it's too late all right my friends and with that said i'm gonna wrap it up for now if you like the content make sure to hit that like button subscribe to the channel i do daily ta videos claim those extra bonuses over on bybit but you have to sign up with the link in the video description and sign up also to the partner youtube channels ad the crypto and also sophie's cooking tips they are all linked in the video description and don't forget to follow me on my other social media platforms like uh, over here on uh, uh, discord so thank you again very much for watching my friends and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye